He's responsible not only for your smooth ride on the road, but also for India's smooth drive on the golf course. Please welcome the patron of not only Indian golf, but also global golf, uh, Dr. Pavan Munjal, Chairman and CEO, Hero Motor Corp. Dr. Munjal, thank you so much for speaking to BT Golf. Thank four you years, for having me. Four years and um, the Indian Open returns. What for you is more special about this particular edition? Well, as you say, the Indian Open, which now is the Hero Indian Open, is 60 years old. And it has a continuous run for many, many decades. I believe just one year somewhere in between, possibly 2014, it wasn't held for some reason. But then there was this big disruption because of the pandemic. So far, what do you think has been your biggest high point in your association with golf? The one time you felt this has been the most amazing, incredible journey. At a personal level, um, purely, hmm. I'm, I'm going to give you both. Purely at a personal level, when we brought Tiger Woods into India in February of 2014, February 4th of 2014 to be precise, I had this good fortune to play a round of golf with Tiger. Wow. First nine holes, front nine, just me and Tiger playing. 10,000 people on the tee watching. I remember that. Watching. I remember that and then back nine, of course, I invited my guests, two guests for two holes each. The kind of golf I played, I will never forget all my life. And I know nobody else will forget for their lives. And everyone believes that that is my game of golf, because that day my game of golf was right up there. I've never played that golf before that day, nor have I played it since then. Hands best the round golfing of, gods were clearly on Best you. round of my, my life. Fabulous. Having said that, the high point, as I was saying, through golf, we have managed to take the company, the brand across the globe to a very high level, to a very high stature. And we have touched many, many important stakeholders, many, many important people around the globe through golf events. We've been able to invite a lot of our stakeholders to these golf events. We are able to network with so many people at one place within a span of seven days, which we may have to travel to various different countries, spend months and months and years to meet up with people, to interact with people. This week at the Hero Indian Open, during these four days, Thursday through Sunday, I know we will have about anything, nothing less than 500 to 800 of our guests coming in, spending time with us, some discussing business, some going out watching golf, and some just networking. So these are very, very important ways to meet and greet people. Hero is going electric. Will we feel the current in, in, in world golf as well? Absolutely, absolutely. Where we are sitting right now, if your camera was to pan around and look at some of the displays of the products, one of them is that of Vida. Our Vida Pro is here, displayed here. Also, we have branding on, on the course across many, many different fairways and holes, and we have our products also displayed on the course. So clearly, this company is about sustainability. My personal passion is sustainability. Everything we do in the company now is around and behind sustainability. So you already are feeling the current here in India. We did the same thing in Dubai at the Hero Dubai Desert Classic. And we will be taking this across all our events that we sponsor on the golfing circuit around the globe. Golf seems to be in many aspects of your life. I've got to ask you to choose one. Uh, Dr. Munjal, the businessman, the golfer or the golf patron? The, the part or the role that you play, which is most special to you? 
So Pawan Manjal, the grandfather, the husband, the father, the brother, and a colleague, a good friend and a colleague to thousands and thousands of the hero family member. That is Pawan Manjal. And Pawan Manjal's hobbies, passion, business drive also includes sports in a major, major way. Pawan Munjal and the company, Hero Motor Corp, are very, very closely associated with sports because I believe and we believe that associating with youth, helping, supporting the youth will not only benefit Hero Motor Corp, but we are playing our part in nation building as well. The one business lesson that you take to the golf course and after that the one golf lesson that you take to the boardroom. Um, doing business, managing any business, you have to be prepared to face a lot of different parameters, a lot of different challenges and a lot of different quick and sudden stuff coming at you. That is a lesson that I take to golf. In golf, so many different parameters that you have to, you're standing on the ball, you have to think of so many different things. And from golf, what I bring to my business is to be calm, steady, not try and do everything at the same time and if something doesn't happen right now, today, prepare for it for tomorrow. But it's not a one day game. It's a four day game. And business is a long term game. So that's the lesson from golf into my business. Over decades of playing golf, was there any particular business decision that you made while playing, either meeting somebody or a thought or an idea that struck you? Uh, here, I would say I am probably different from many other corporates who play golf. I know a lot of friends, associates, corporates do a lot of business on the golf course. I don't do any business at all on the golf course. I'm focused on my game. I'm focused on the greens. I'm focused on the clean air. I'm focused on the birds and I'm focused on the water that I see around me. Right. And, and finally, um, Dr. Munjal, what's the kind of legacy that you would like to leave behind when it comes to golf in India or globally for that matter? Um, so my father, we all know, has left a great legacy, not just for the country, but for the globe in terms of business, in terms of relationships, in terms of networking, in terms of managing family and friends. Since you are asking me specifically about golf, so my aim and ambition about golf, firstly, is to see Indian golfers, both ladies and men, go out there, play the international circuits, play the majors, win the majors, which I believe will then attract hundreds and thousands of youngsters to take to golf. And I'm very keen and when I, I feel very, very happy when I see five years old and seven years old at the golf academies. My own grandson, six year old, on January 30th, I gifted him a golf set and he's now going to the Delhi Golf Club every weekend. And he's dragging his dad to the golf course every weekend. So I would like people to remember me in golf as somebody who supported the sport, who supported the sports person and who took India out there and put India on the global golfing map. Dr. Munjal, thank you so much for speaking to us. You truly have put India continually putting India on the global golf map. Thank you once again. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you.
If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.